Mr Blister is a manufacturer of thermoformed blister packaging. We make a product range called Virtuel, which is in effect a tamper resistant format of packaging for the non-food sector. Uh, Mr Blister also manufacture a range of food packaging called Caterline, which we sell through distributors and also recently through cash and carries. The, the challenges for Mr Blister recently has been how to get our market to the end user and what we wanted to do is develop websites and e-commerce opportunities to sell our products directly to the end user via the internet and we needed to get the assistance of people who were more tech savvy than I am and also help with the funding of, and financing of the uh, e-commerce operation. I got the Business Growth Hub via looking uh, on the internet to see if I could find any assistance for funding um, and I came across the Business Growth Hub, who are also linked, I think, with UKTI and with Maz. Initially, Business Growth Hub came in for a meeting. They had a look around the premises, tried to understand a bit about the operation and our pains and gains, if you like. Uh, and then they were able to advise me on uh, which was the best people to approach that could hopefully give us the advice we needed and help us uh, on our journey through e-commerce. I think this was quite an invaluable meeting, really, because you know, quite often when you're dealing with somebody on the phone, they don't understand really what's going on in your business and, and your goals. Um, so I was quite pleased that they came in, understood the business and were able to point me in the direction of people who could genuinely help me. The help from Business Growth have enabled us to set up our e-commerce site for Mr Blister, the new virtual e-commerce site that we launched um, about three months ago. We've already started taking orders off that, off that site and probably exceeded our, our expectations so far. Uh, and that's also uh, been as a precursor to developing e-commerce operations in France, Spain and Italy that are also well underway uh, as a consequence of the initial meeting with Business Growth Hub. The support we had was, was invaluable because we weren't really um, that aware of what needed to be done to drive business through e-commerce. You know, So we needed to speak to people first and foremost who had the expertise. Uh, and secondly, we needed to ensure that we had some kind of funding support. So we weren't wasting money, we were spending money in the right areas. I think it's very easy for us, um, people like myself, who are not really particularly well up on these uh, kind of operations, to spend a lot of money unnecessarily. So the inv advice was invaluable. The co-investment fund basically was that uh, the Business Growth Hub matched us. I mean, we had a £6,000 initial expenditure uh, and Business Growth Hub funded £3,000 of that upon completion of the project. The co-investment fund meant things were more accessible more quickly. You know, we wanted to get things moving as quickly as possible uh, and the uh, injection of £3,000 enabled us to make that decision quicker and obviously get our route to market um, sourced quicker. People of my age, you know, weren't brought up on you know mobile phones and internet and e-commerce. You know, these are all things that are new and alien to us in terms of marketing. Uh, so to meet other people and other companies who had that expertise, it is invaluable because the you know the route to market is is quite fraught with potential problems. Um, so they helped us make sure we made the right decisions at the right time. I've recommended several people to Business Growth Hub. The support of um, funding and accessibility of funding is, is fundamentally important to all businesses. Um, I think particularly manufacturing businesses like myself where you know our margins have been curtailed over the years you know, and we are looking to put whatever money we've got into growth uh, so this funding is very important to enable us to do that. I was working with Raheem uh, and he's been uh, great, uh, a lot of feedback from Raheem, we had the initial meeting, we met subsequently a couple of times. Um, and then once the project was ended, he came and signed everything off and the funding was in our account about 30 days later.